I'm so excited to be here with you today. I'm going to show you two exercises that are designed to strengthen your arm and your core. Let's start. By, I'm going to give you the first option, especially if you're new to core or exercises or yoga. You can start on plank on your knees and bring your right hand out as a side so you come high on your fingertips. And whenever you're ready, inhale, lean to the left side, right leg becomes straight, right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Come back to plank on your knees. Let's do two more like this. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go back down. One more time. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come back down. Now I'm gonna let, I'm gonna show you the full variation. Those of you on the knees, keep going. Otherwise, extend your right arm out towards the side. And as you inhale, come up. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come back down. Make sure you stay connected with your core. Crown of the head reaches forward as you are in this plank. Heels towards the sky. Inhale up. Lift using your obliques. Three more. Lift out of that left shoulder so you're not sinking into your wrist. Two more, inhale, come up. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, come up. Exhale, lower. Lower all the way down. Bring your hips down towards your heels. Child's pose. And whenever you're ready, come back to center. Now this time, you can either do it on your left knee, right leg straight, and then we twist. And this is the variation you choose, especially if, again, if full plank is too much for you. Otherwise, come to full plank, front of the head forward, lift out of your shoulders, belly is in towards the spine, roll your heels to the left, one foot is in front of the other, right arm is up, inhale, exhale, thread the arm under, inhale, come up, exhale, twist, inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up. Two more. One more time. And whenever you're ready, come back to center. Child's pose. You can circle those wrists around, especially the left side, and then do the other side. And whenever you're ready, come back to either plank on your knees or full plank. I'm going to start with the modification first. Bring the left elbow down, bring the right arm down, prop back into your left hand, right hand. Left arm, right arm, left hand, right hand. Full plank. Keep going. Two more in this direction. Left arm, right arm, left arm, sorry, left hand, right hand. One more. Left forward arm, right forward arm, left hand, right hand. Hold it here. Let's reverse and make sure you're not piking your butt like if you're doing down dog. Keep those hips low. Right forearm, left forearm, right hand, left hand. Remember, you can always do this on your knees if you need to. I know I said I was going to show you two exercises, but hey, this is a bonus exercise before you go to the other side. Last time, child's pose and rest. Good. One more deep breath. And whenever you're ready, slowly release. Come back to your hands and knees. Left hand out towards the side this time. Plank on your knees or full plank, your choice. Roll to the right, extend the left leg, left arm up. And come back to center. So we begin the first exercise on this side. One more this way from your knees. And then if you want to add the full plank, you add the full plank. Now, full plank, left arm out, heels to the right, left arm up, and lower facing the mat. Inhale up, left, exhale lower. Inhale left, arms up. As you lower left hand down, one more time. Make sure you stay connected with your core. So you're not sagging on your low back and slowly release lower. So it's very easy oftentimes to dump in your low back or lift those hips really high. And that brings more unnecessary pressure on your wrist and doesn't connect, doesn't connect you with your core. So make sure 
If you're on your knees, it's better than be here and doing it wrong. Body mechanics is very important. Now let's do the next exercise. Once again, you can do plank on your knees and your side bend, lifting the left arm, and then as you exhale, bring the arm under, twisting, threading the arm. One more this way, or you can start in your full plank if you need to. If you are ready for more, roll the heels to the right, inhale, bring the left arm up, exhale, bring the arm under. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Exhale, twist. Exhale, twist. One more. And twist. Come back to center, plank pose, hold it here. Now, bend the knees, hover the knees, keep the shoulders over your wrist, press your legs back, bend the knees, press your heels back, straighten the legs. Three more, stay in that plank version. One more. Then whenever you're ready, hold plank, lower the knees, sit back on your heel, on your heels, child's pose, and then come up, sitting comfortably. Bring your hands in front of you, circle your wrists, circle the opposite way. Now bring your right hand so the palm is facing me, fingertips down towards the mat, and grab your opposite hand and gently press your fingers back towards you. Make sure your shoulders are not by your ears, so relax the shoulders. And then flip it over so now the palm is facing you. Press gently. And let's switch sides. Extend your left arm forward, fingertips towards the mat, palms facing me. Use your opposite hand to gently bring the fingers back towards you. And then release, flip it over. So now the palms faces you. And whenever you're ready, release. Roll your shoulders if you need to. And you can repeat the whole sequence once or twice more. And as you continue to get stronger, Use the different modifications from kneeling plank to full plank or side plank. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, namaste.